All right, so we got a new leak from Regents um, of new Awakened Lilia Christmas banner. So of course we're we're already in December, and uh, they're gonna of course release. I, I'm assuming they're gonna release two Christmas banners. Honestly, I don't think they're gonna release only one Christmas banner. Um, and that this will be the first one. It seems to be a solo Lilia banner. Which I find odd, because there's a leak for two characters. I don't know if the, the second character will be on the second banner, or if it will be here, and it's just not... It, this is displaying as just one character, right? But it might be true. So, as you can see, you know, they know what we want. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Awaken Lilia. And, of course, a very um, a voluptuous uh, costume. Christmas costume. And... Um, we don't know. I don't have any info on what she's gonna do particularly, but Regents does have a leak saying that uh, she can do a lot of damage uh, to enemies in proportion to her remaining HP. So she might have Flood as one of her cards, um, which could be good. I don't know. Uh, it could be good. And he, he also has a leak for a Dana for Liz, which is of course a red hair Liz, um, specialized in damaging a single enemy. Again. But <laughs> we'll see how that will go. And they, th th this banner being only one character is very strange to me, given that it was two leaks. So it might be two separate banners, but I I don't want to believe that they have the balls to drop a single banner, right? A a Dana for Liz single banner for Christmas. I don't I don't think they have the balls. Dana for Liz did come out. Um, Isolated, but they could <laughs> actually they because then for Liz is a Christmas unit. We go back here, Christmas 2020. Okay, she. Re I need to remember. How she released as a single bear, didn't she? Um. Red hair. I think we're gonna find like this. <laughs> the worst design character. At the time, she had no use case. She had no... She was useless in every single way. She was useless because all she could... All she can do, right? Is... Let me go. Let's click there. Um, all she can do is... If all allies are HP at attribute heroes... Uh, uh, in deathmatch, their skill ranks are increased at the start of the turn. And the only deathmatch that you could use blue units, or sorry, green units, was um, was Grey Demon. And her attacks can't hit the Grey Demon. So she was the worst designed character in the game at the time. So funny. Uh, of course, um, Belmoth came out and she's good now for Belmoth. So she, she is a good unit now because she has a use case. Uh, I don't... Did I make a summoning stream on this? I think I did. If I put Liz, it's gonna be too much, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's gonna be too much. Uh, I'll have to go... I'll have to scroll all the way back to December or something. Uh, but she... She was a single character banner, right? So they, they might re-release Dana for Liz a single character banner again. It's just... I don't want to believe that, though. Like, I don't want to believe that they would do that. That's the thing. But they most certainly would, wouldn't they? Mm. I mean, Evil Lilia. We're going to talk about her uh, her stuff in a second. So it was... Um, it was here, right? Um, yeah, she was a single character on a step-up banner. How did they have the balls to drop that? Are they gonna drop her again as a single character banner? Oh, at the time, at the time I was pissed. <laughs> and then of course Assault Melee dropped a week later. So yeah, there's no way, bro. So they they dropped the lane as a single character. Th this was a terrible time. They dropped two single character banners that were terrible. Right, shiny wings lane and Liz. So they might do this. So. We just got the one at the time, right? We got the one, which is equivalent to um, King. We just got King, right? Last week. 
And this week is a dead week. Next week will be a Christmas banner, which will probably be uh, Lilia. And then two weeks later might be another Red Hair Liz Christmas banner. I don't want to believe that they would do that. Because at this time, they were in love with dropping single character banners. They were dropping single character banners non-stop, right? Nanashi, Liz, Wing, uh, Elaine, Jericho. They were dropping single character banners non-stop. Austin Hawk, non-stop. Non you can see non-stop they were dropping single character banners. And now they don't do that anymore. Because it's garbage. Single character banners are garbage. I hope they don't. I really hope they don't just drop two two characters two these two separately. That they make more Christmas characters. Don't just Okay. Well Would the Lilia be good? Um considering I mean this might be a flood, this might be her passive, right? She can do a lot more this might be a similar to like um Green Merlin's passive, or she might have flood for this uh, description here, but um, Lilia, if I go here on the game, uh, she has okay stats. I, I checked earlier. She doesn't have, have terrible stats. Um, she's not going to be critting. Um, she has decent crit resistance, decent lifesteal. She she has okay stats. No, in her own super awakening charm, we're going to be better than this one. Um, because this is an old unit. And old units got very bad super awakenings, right? Um, so her, she, she might get a better super awakening. Um, and she has a holy relic, obviously, but her holy relic is very specific. So if this lit, not Liz, if this, uh, Lilia, it's two L's. Okay. Uh, doesn't have a debuff. So when the hero's basic, use the hero's basic stat by 10% for every debuff effect on the enemy, let me five times. Um, if... This character doesn't have debuffs that can con like constantly be applied. This holy relic will be a little bit weaker. But if if she has you know a flood card or she has some way of doing like a lot of damage, and let's say you use Kyo, I don't know something like that, and you get like a fifty percent attack buff, she might be very strong. So there's that as well. Uh, so this character could be very strong. I. Um, I'm curious to see how they're gonna do with what they're gonna do with her. Then for Liz though, and again, please don't release her as a single character pet. Um, there's no way, bro. She was she was already a Christmas character. There's no way they're gonna release her again as the, another Christmas character. Where is she? Where is she, bro? I'm gonna pause the video, bro. Here she is. Her stats are terrible, I remember. Yeah, her stats are very mediocre. Very, very, very mediocre. So, I don't have much hopes for dinner for Liz. Um, but she could get a very strong Holy Relic. <laughs> she really could. She really could get a very strong Holy Relic. Uh, that will make her really, really strong. I don't know. I, because... Um, She specializes in damage in a single character. We'll see. Um, I don't have that much hope for... I have some hopes for Lilia, actually, because I think, you know... I think that her Holy Relic, combined with this description, uh, could mean that she would be, like, a very strong damage dealer. Especially if she gets a... If she gets this card, right? This one. That would be really good for her, the if the enemy the, if the ally doesn't crit because she can't crit. And I think characters that have very low crit chance they might as well get a card like this. So if she gets flood and cleave as her true cards, she could be a very strong damage dealer. Like that would be kind of nutty actually. And then you you combine with her uh, holy relic, maybe she has a passive that debuffs the enemies just like red Lilia. That could be very strong. So. I mean, we'll see how, how they do it, but yeah.